Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to another video from Slide Cow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. First of all, I wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I hope you all had the time to celebrate with your friends, family and loved ones. But right now, it's time for us to get back to work. This week's tutorial focuses on making a PowerPoint slide out of your tweet or, you know, someone else's tweet. It's a great way to show off what people are talking about to your audience. This is really, really easy to do, so let's get started. Step one, follow me on Twitter. All right, all right, it's not really a step, but I wish that you guys would follow me on Twitter because it's a great way for us to stay connected. You know, I always reach out to people on Twitter. I post my tutorials, my blogs, whatever you guys want is all there. So. Be sure to follow me on Twitter if you have the chance. Step two, grab a background image and set up the slide. All right, so assuming that you guys have a blank slide right in front of you, the first thing you wanna do is go to Google and search for any sort of image that you'd like. Make sure it's high resolution, make sure it's beautiful. You know, you just wanna make sure that you have that quality image on your slide. If you don't know where to look for quality images, click on the link in the description or on the info button in the top right corner. But for right now, I'm going to be using this image right over here. It's a skyline, it's beautiful, and I love it. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna expand the image so it takes over the slide just like this. Um, and I'm also gonna crop it into the slide so that we know exactly what we're doing. So I'm just gonna bring this in. By the way, to crop, you just wanna go to format and then click on the crop button over here. But anyway, you just wanna move this over here and you want to move this over here. All right, awesome. So that's that done and it looks great. Um, if you want, this is an optional step, but I tend to do it sometimes. Uh, you can go to insert, click on shapes and click on this rectangle and just, you know, take over this entire image on your slide. Make sure you remove the outline and make it black. And then once you do that, under format shape fill, go to more fill colors and set the transparency to something like, I don't know, like 50%. No, I think that's way too dark. So we can actually set that up to around 20% here. Oh, sorry. My bad. I meant 80%. There we go. All right, so I think this looks really good as a background image for what we're going to do. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna head over to insert, click on shapes, and you want to click on this shape over here, which is called the frame. And you just wanna draw out the frame that looks like this, right? Don't worry about positioning for now, we can fix that up later. You wanna make it really thin, somewhat like this, and you want to color it white and also remove the outline. Now, don't be afraid to make it too thin, this is fine, I think. All right, perfect. Then what you wanna do is you want to head over to insert, click on shapes, and then you want to click on this rectangle right over here. And you just wanna draw out a rectangle with the same height, but just slightly wider than the rectangle you drew on the left. So I'd say something like this is absolutely fine. I'm gonna make it white, and I'm going to remove the outline, just like that. And now we can move on to the next step. Step three, add the Twitter logo. All right, so I'm gonna be using this Twitter logo that you see right over here. This Twitter logo is completely customizable. I can change the color, you know, I can change around with the shape without losing quality like this. And I can also add an outline if I would like. If you don't know how to bring in any sort of editable icons or customizable icons into your PowerPoint slide, and or you don't have the insert icons button on the top uh, on, on, the, on the taskbar that you see over there, do not fret. Click on the link in the description or the link on the top right corner where you will learn how to bring in any sort of icons that you want that are completely customizable and you will love your PowerPoint slide. But for right now, I'm gonna be using this one. I'm just gonna move this over here. I'm gonna bring it up just like this. I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna change the color to white and I'm gonna remove the outline. So I wanna put this in the center of this little box that we have over here. So I'm just gonna to go to home, arrange, align, align center, and arrange, align 
align middle. All right, that looks awesome. Let's see if I can make it just a bit bigger. Yep, that looks fantastic. I love that, that looks great. Step four, set up the tweet. All right, so I'm gonna be using this tweet that you see right over here. I just tweeted it out. I know a lot of people are confused right now, but by the time they publish the video and the tutorial, they won't be as confused. I'm gonna look for a similar style here, but I'm not gonna follow it exactly the same, but you know what, somewhat similar, right? So the first thing I wanna do is follow this effect that we have over here. We have the picture on the left, we have my name, Yo-Yo from SlideCow at the top, and my Twitter handle at the bottom, which is at SlideCow right over here. So let's start off with the picture. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my profile picture right over there, you schnazzy human. I'm gonna copy that image. I'm gonna head on over back to the slide we were working on just now and just paste it over here. I'm gonna bring that down, right? Um, now over here, as you can see, let me just go back to the uh, image that we were looking at. Over here, as you can see, you know, it's a circle and that's what we want to do as well. So I'm gonna jump back over here and let's take a look. So how do we make this a circle? I'm gonna go to insert, I'm gonna go to shapes and I'm gonna click on this circle right over here. And I'm just gonna draw the circle just like this. I'm gonna fit it into the middle of this slide. Well, not exactly the middle, but you know, somewhat in the middle. I'm gonna bring that down a bit. Take away the outline. Let's just take a look. Yeah, I think that looks fine. So I'm gonna click on the image. Then I'm gonna click on the circle that we just made. I'm gonna go to format on the left side under drawing tool. I'm gonna go to merge shapes and then I'm gonna click on intersect and boom, we have my picture in a circle. So I'm just gonna bring that down over here and I'm gonna pop it over on the left side just like this. Now, it sort of helps for you to have a guide on where to put things here. So let's just move that image to the left for now. And let's go and, you know, make a duplicate of this rectangle by pressing control D, right? And you wanna put it exactly where it was, right? The, the, the old position of the old rectangle, which is just over there. Uh, I'm gonna change the color of this so you, know, so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna make it gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press on shift down, then shift left. That way I know that every piece of content for this tweet has to fit in the gray box. I will delete this gray box later, right? It's just a guideline for me to say, don't go over the lines, right? Uh, think of it like you're coloring in a coloring book. You don't wanna go over the lines. So I'm going to just bring it over here and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, like you see just like there. I think that looks great and Perfect, all right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to, uh, you know, my tweet over here. And as you can see just here, we have the name at the top and we have my handle somewhere at the bottom, right? Uh, I'm gonna follow a similar sort of style. And to do that, I'm just gonna go to insert, click on text box and just draw the text box over here. Type in yo-yo from SlideCow over here. Now remember over here, as you can see, it is bold, right? It's bold at the top and it's not so bold at the bottom. So I'm gonna change the top one to bold, just like this. And then I'm gonna press enter and type in at slide cow and you know, put that aside. So what I found out also is that the top handle, the top line has, you know, more sort of font size or a bigger font size than the one at the bottom. So let's try and implement that as well. So I'm going to go to this is 22, and I think if I was to set, actually, let's go with 24. Yeah, 24 looks fine. Actually, 24 is too big. Let's go 22, and we're gonna set this one to around 16, just like that. And I think that looks awesome, so I'm going to just put that somewhere in the middle, just like here. All right, awesome. Maybe a little bit of gap. Cool, 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 cool. I think that looks great. All right, so what we have to do now is we have to head on over back to our tweet and just copy the little text that we have in our tweet over here. So I'm just gonna highlight everything, copy it, and just notice that, you know, the text in here, right, is the largest font size out of this whole box, this whole entire box. This is the largest font size for that tweet. So I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste it into the slide that you see over there. Now, obviously you see some sort of, you know, hyperlinks. Don't worry about that. We're gonna fix that up in a bit. Or if you wanna keep them there, that can work as well. It's up to you. But I'm just going to, you know, fix it up so we can play around with it more. So I'm going to change the font size of this to around 25. 25, I think is a bit too big, but I think we can play around with it. Let's go down to 24. 24, I think is our go to. All right, awesome. 
Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to add the date because every tweet has a date. So there we go, 4.02 p.m. on the 1st of January, 2018. So I'm going to paste that just like here. Again, don't worry about the font colors or any of that stuff. We're going to fix all of that up. I'm going to set the font size to around 14. Actually, I'm going to set it around 12 maybe and make it dark gray color because it's similar to the dark gray color that we have over there. Awesome. So I'm going to put it at the bottom here and just make sure that it's all aligned and it's all good to go. All right. All right. So with everything now in place, you can click on the gray box that we just had before and delete it. Now look at that. How beautiful does that look? It looks awesome. I freaking love this slide. It looks so good because now you can show off a tweet from any sort of person that you want. Just make sure you have permission to use their pictures, obviously. But you, you get the idea. I think that this is some next level PowerPoint slide and it was so easy to make. But we're not done just yet. Now, I don't like the fact that there are hyperlinks in my slide. Uh, I don't like the fact that they're underlined as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna remove the links just like that. Now, obviously I have orange and the reason why I have orange here is because, you know, my colors uh, in, in the in the slide count profile that you see over here are also um, orange. But what you can do, right, is you can actually uh, change these colors to reflect, you know, the default Twitter colors. Now, I have this color over here, I believe is the default Twitter color, and all I did was just go into someone else's profile, grab that color, and just paste it over here. Um, and I'm just gonna highlight this word, and you know, click on eyedropper, boom, and boom. Perfect, all right, that looks awesome, I love it. Now, the last thing you wanna do is you wanna highlight everything, press on Control G to group it up, and you wanna go to Home, Arrange, Align, Align Center, and that way it looks awesome just like that look at that how beautiful is this slide right imagine showing off to your audience what people are talking about you know the latest trends what they're talking about your product or your company and this is an awesome way to pull it off rather than using those boring quotation marks and you know it's all about creativity it looks awesome and i love it guys that's it for me i thought i'd start off the year with a very easy tutorial very easy but effective tutorial and i'm sure that there are more to come Please follow me on Twitter. The first step was not optional. It was not optional, all right? But please do follow me on Twitter. Um, please do also subscribe to this like our mailing list. I'd love it if you do. And as always, if you like this video, then please do like it. And if you're not subscribed to this you should probably subscribe right now. I will see you guys next week. Have a great one. This is Yo-Yo signing off. Bye-bye.